Hey guys, Cajun Cardboard coming at you from the great state of Louisiana with our uh, every Thursday PWCC weekly auction preview. This is weekly auction number eight. I'm not going to waste a lot of your time. Let's get right to it. Switch you over to the first row. As always, rem uh, just a reminder, PWCC weekly auctions and premier auctions are free to bid. There's no membership fee. You don't have to pay anything. It's just like eBay or any other platform. If you want to bid, go register, get approved and bid. The approval process is extremely simple. Uh, so uh, those of you who have not checked out these weekly auctions, go check them out now. Um, I've actually got a bunch of cards in this weekly auction number eight. Uh, I think I have eight Anthony Simons rookie cards most of which are uh, high-end cards, pretty rare stuff. So check those out if you haven't already. Uh, I'd only have about 35 minutes before my workday gets started, so we're going to have to roll through this really quick. Again, I can't talk about every single card. I've got weekly auction number eight sorted, uh, as you can see up here, by highest bid, weekly auction number eight, basketball cards, and then boom, here you go. So top row, no surprises here. Two of the most common uh, cards that we always talk about. You got your Jordan 9.5 uh, with 10 edges and a nine surface, which is a really clean looking copy here from what I can see. Looks really good from the front. Uh, it's already at 36,000 plus 20%. Remember these numbers that we see on here is not gonna include the buyer's premium yet. Uh, when we do our recap on Monday, for those of you who haven't watched, I do a recap of all of these cards we're gonna talk about today. We go through on Monday the top 96 cards and we kind of go through whether they rose or fell, you know, what they look like compared to comps, where they're going, uh, sort of look at trends and things like that. Uh, but these numbers you're going to see on your screen, again, two things. Number one, bids on today. Well, I'm actually filming this on Wednesday, so bids on Wednesday don't mean a dang thing. Uh, as you know, a lot of the action takes place towards the end on Sunday evening and or during extended bidding once that starts on Sunday. If you have any questions about the PWCC auctions, just go to pwccmarketplace.com, scroll over to weekly Sunday auction, and then click the about button. It explains the entire process. It can't possibly get any simpler. Uh, the, the user interface and the platform and the software that PWCC uses is impeccable. Are there glitches sometimes? Yes. Like in weekly auction number six, there was a glitch where there was some uh, error in, during extended bidding. But as far as the interface, face and how PWCC handles it, issues payouts, processes it, you know, accepts payment. All, all of that is absolutely top notch, as good as it gets in the hobby. It is my uh, auction house of choice. Card number one is this uh, Jordan BGS 9.5. It's at 36, you know, with the 20%. That's already you know, 40 grand. Uh, so those have been going anywhere from 50 to $60,000. Some of them with uh, great subgrades have been going as high as 78, 70 or 80. Uh, subgrades do matter. Eye appeal does matter as with all Jordan 86 Fleers. So we're going to definitely look at that one on Monday when we recap our risers and fallers. Here's a card we've been seeing a hell of a lot of lately, and I'm not sure why. Uh, 86 Fleer is going on another run. We saw it in weekly auction number six, I think, where there was a set break and a lot of PSA 10, 86 Fleers. We see some more here. It looks like people are jumping back in to take profits. Uh, the next card is Moses Malone. I've got this one actually pulled up on card ladder. It's not in card ladder in PSA 10. It's only in there in PSA 9 because PSA 10 is so rare. If we go to the pop report, this Moses rookie is a pop 36 out of oof, almost 2,000 graded. That is a minuscule gem percentage. It just lets you know how difficult it is. The last two, uh, well, the two highest sold, both sold in August of 2021 for 19,000 and 12,500. This one is already at, you know, that's about 12,000. So I have a feeling this one is definitely going to top 20,000. It is a pop 36 card like we just saw, extremely hard to find. This one has a PWCC E sticker, which means PWCC has assigned this card uh, as a top 15% for all the PSA 10s out there based on eye appeal. But here's something interesting to check out, guys. I'm not sure I like this. Maybe this was at the request of the seller. There is another PWCC, uh, I'm sorry, another PSA 10 Moses Malone rookie card right behind it with a PWCC 30% sticker. So you've got two Moses rookie cards out of the 36. That's 1 18th of the population. That's more than 5% of the Moses Malone Jim Mint rookie cards in the world in one PWCC weekly auction. 
I don't know, that seems odd. I would have staggered these. I'm not sure where the algorithm failed. Uh, maybe that was the seller's request. I have no idea, uh, but you've got one right after the other. I did check to make sure it's not the same card. They've got different serial numbers and different PWCC stickers. Next in line, you got our Bird Magic PSA 9. This card's kind of steadily been, you know, in that 20, 20 to $29,000 range. Let's check it real quick. Um, yeah, I'm in card ladder and you can see how quick card ladder works card ladder is fantastic So uh, here you go put it on your screen, you know There's your there's your graph for the last two years your graph for the last month You know you're looking at the last one went 24 and then 26 So it'll be interesting to see where this one ends up really good looking copy does not have the horizontal little black mark at the bottom The centering on this one looks Exceptional maybe a slight diamond cut on the top border right here, but that's a good looking nine You've got a, uh, a slabbed authentic LeBron James Chrome uh, X Fractor. That's a number to 220 rookie card for LeBron. You've got your staple Kobe card from the 2008 Topps Chrome set in PSA 10 condition. But this also is the X Fractor, uh, what later became known as Starburst during the Prism era. Uh, you know, that's a card that a lot of people like to chase, along with the Chult Toss from the same year. Uh, but that's the actually a Kobe card, but people love it because it's Kobe and LeBron. Uh, not, not fouling him, right? Uh, it looks like they're, uh, yeah, we'll just keep moving. Uh, Patrick Ewing, PSA 10, 86 Fleer. You're going to see some more of these guys. Here's your Bill Russell. It's way off center, but it is a four. It's good looking edges and corners, but the centering is rough. Uh, a bird PSA 10 base and a bird PSA 10 sticker and a magic PSA 10 sticker. I will tell you, if you go back and look at my recap, these stickers made a huge jump. If I recall, I think they both sold for close to $20,000 uh, in the PWCC auction. It was either last week or the week before. I can't recall. It was either weekly auction six or weekly auction um, weekly auction seven. Not real sure, but check it out. And here's a Dominique Wilkins. So if you wanted to pick up 86 Fleer, uh, you know, this is another opportunity you've got in the PWCC weekly auction number eight, uh, which ends this Sunday evening. Uh, you've got a Kobe Refractors, uh, you know, week, I like how a lot of people call this a gold refractor. Uh, but the, the slab just says refractor. Uh, maybe G stands for gold. I don't know. I don't know a lot about this card or about this set, to be quite honest with you. But it's 8.5 with the coating, uh, which a lot of you guys know. You know, we've talked about that before. Do you want the coating? Do you not want the coating? It doesn't really refract with the coating, but people want it in its original condition. And then some people say, well, the coating was supposed to be peeled. I mean, hell, it even says it on there: peel and remove. So. You know, there's different, you know, different strokes for different folks. Uh, and this one is uh, significantly off center left to right, but uh, a very rare card. So let's see what that sucker goes for. Here's a Kobe Bryant rookie base chrome PSA 10. Always good to keep an eye on that because that's indicative of the Kobe market. Uh, a LeBron silver PSA 9. I've got it starred. We'll talk about that once it closes. You know, I should probably put a star on this one. The LeBron refractor. Uh, again, way off center right to left and off center top to bottom. That's why I got a BGS 9. Centering is a 9. Honestly, centering doesn't look like a nine. It looks worse than that to me. You got an autograph Jordan to 50. That's a pop one card. That'll fetch a high number. Obviously, it's on card with the silver. It's number to 50. Uh, pretty good looking card. It's a slabbed authentic uh, auto 10, which again, we've talked about that in all my previews and all my recaps. That's becoming a trend. Here's another Elijah Wan sticker. These are really low pop guys. So uh, you guys who are interested in chasing this Fleer sticker set from 1986, obviously the Kareem's always going to be a problem. It's a quarter million dollars plus. Yes, I said a quarter million dollars plus. For those of you who don't know, it is a pop 14. And that is what limits the worldwide quantity of PSA uh, 10 1986 Fleer complete sets uh, is that 86 Fleer Kareem sticker. Uh, but if you want to pick up these other stickers, they're starting to run again. Uh, I own them, so I am not trying to hype them. We've seen where they've gone before. The Jordan just jumped back over 100,000 for the PSA 10 sticker. So this uh, Elijah one is at uh, 4,700. Again, those numbers mean nothing. Here's your LeBron Rookie Ultimate uh, Collection Signatures BGS 9. A really good looking uh, Wilt PSA 5 right here. I'll be quite honest with you. I have a 4.5 of this this card uh, that's a really good looking five it's already at about six thousand with the buyers premium Jordan SGC 9 always cool to look at just the different grades of the Jordans uh, to see what they grade at you know in different grading companies BGS SGC PSA that's really where I stop my analysis SGC is a is a reputable grading company I'm never gonna really talk about anything other than those three and rarely about
about SGC only in meaningful cards and certainly only in you know non ultra modern cards. Uh, you got your Julius Irving sticker again. If you're looking to move on that sticker set, this is your chance. Uh, those stickers took a huge a huge step forward in the last PWCC auction, and uh, let's see if they can follow suit. I'm really anxious to see where these things close at. You know, as the owner of all of these uh, 86 Fleer PSA 10 cards, I'm really anxious to see, and this is an old label as you can see, but it's a beautiful card. So uh, I'm looking to see where these things end at. LaMelo Elephant Prism Rookie Card, don't know much about it, Pop 11. Uh, another Jordan Black uh, with silver silver signature on black, number to 23, BGS 8. Uh, Morant, uh, this is a big one, so it's a PSA 10. It, you know, there's a bunch of different variations of contenders. I'm confused. I don't know the contenders ultra modern product very well. There's contenders, contenders premium, contenders college. There's different poses. This is one hand ball autograph pre edition. I, you know, I can't keep up with it, uh, but this is a pop one of six. Apparently, uh, you get your Kobe Ultimate Collection signatures from 2000. That card's number to 75 and PSA 10. That is a really good looking card. Sean Elliott guarding him right there, trying to arm bar him, which you were allowed to do back in the uh, in the early 2000s. Another Elijah Wan PSA 10 rookie card. Uh, again, uh, I've talked to you know tons of other collectors like me, tons of basketball historians we are all on the same page and it's no coincidence in the first you know 25 cards we've looked at Olajuwon and Moses Malone are two of the most underrated centers of all time uh, both of them are top 20 players of all time period based on resume it is not an argument it is not an opinion uh, no one could even argue otherwise Moses Malone and Hakeem Olajuwon are top 20 players of all time and top seven or eight centers of all time. Yes, you know, probably seven or eight of the top 20 players of all time happen to be centers with, you know, Kareem, Wilt, Bill, Elijah Wan, Shaq, and uh, Moses. Uh, Moses kind of goes uh, kind of forgotten because he's pre-Bird Magic for the most part. You know, he did win a title with the Sixers, but he's he's pre-Bird Magic, but he won his, he, I think he won his MVPs before Bird and Magic. He came out in the 70s, 1975, which was just kind of the Coke era, you know, the cocaine era with, you know, wasn't a, a, a great, quantity of talent you know if you're talking about guys from the seven like you know the late 70s um, you know that we're kind of finishing up early in the bird magic years you're talking about you know Kareem um, you're talking about um, you know Bill Walton for a couple years but you know he had his injury issues and then you're talking about Moses um, who am I forgetting uh, blah, 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 George Gervin you know those are the kind of guys that were you know and then Doc obviously but he spent you know some of his prime in the ABA so a uh, Kobe uh, molten metal titanium fusion titanium number 250 um, Another LeBron Refractor, BGS 8.5. Uh, here's another PSA 10, uh, Magic Base. And so you're talking about Bird Base, Bird Sticker, Magic Base, Magic Sticker, Doc Base, Doc Sticker, a Lodge One Base, a Lodge One Sticker. Uh, these are big cards, fellas. These are cards that it took a huge jump in the last auction. Let's see what happens in this auction. Uh, I, I Honestly, I did not look to see if this matched, if it was maybe a non-payer uh, situation. So, uh, again, somebody backtrack me and go check my other video and make sure these are actually new uh, new cards and not repeats of the cards from two auctions ago. They may be. I have no idea. Uh, I did not have time to research that because I wanted to get this out and get this content to you guys. Regardless, uh, let's see what they go for. Uh, we've got our Jordan PSA 9 sticker. Pretty good looking off center, right to left. Um, you know, but looks pretty good top to bottom. Uh, great corners and edges, of course. Uh, so many of these are on Trapper Keepers uh, from from kids back in the day. Oops, did not mean to do that. Let me go back, and now I'm going to have to scroll. And that's the worst thing about it is when you click on something, it actually takes you back, and you got to scroll to go find where you were. Not really sure. It's kind of a software glitch there. You know what I'm saying? And then, of course, it switches me back to 24. Uh, PWCC, if any of you guys are watching this, you got to fix that. Um, let me get back to it. Sorry about that, guys. Here we go. Back to the Jordan PSA 9 sticker. Where to go? We're getting there. Here we go. All right, back to it. Uh, we got a Jordan PSA 8. We always keep a track on those. Again, not all eights are the same, so there's a huge disparity in condition of those cards. A Doncic Red Prism PSA 10, uh, number to 299. We've got another LeBron. Here's the 2008 Chalk Toss. This is the card that I was telling you that I really like. This is number to 288, and it's BGS 9.5. Uh, I'm lucky enough to have the True Refractor PSA 10 and the Orange Refractor PSA 10. Uh, a Durant Black Refractor Rookie PSA 10. Really good looking card, number to 199. 
uh, a LeBron base BGS 9.5. I know I've got enough of those, and I took a bath on some of those from where I bought it. Here's a cool hand number, Diamond Club Upper Deck, um, Jordan autograph numbered to five. I can't tell, but it looks like a sticker autograph, but I cannot tell. Uh, it, it looks to me like it's a sticker, but it could just be a signing window. I'm not super certain, uh, but it is numbered to five. Really cool picture of Jordan, and then uh, numbered serial hand numbered, uh, sorry, numbered four to five. Um, LeBron Topps Chrome Base Rookie, PSA 10. Always a good indication of what's going on with the base LeBron market. We like to look at that. Uh, we've seen this card. I feel like I've seen this card in like three or four straight auctions. It's this horizontal, um, you know, Steph Curry. It looks like he's wearing aqua socks. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. You know, kaboom is what it is. I'm not going to get into all that. Another LeBron PSA 10. A really cool looking Durant. Um, you know, rookie patch auto numbered to 10. Uh, again, this is the trend we're seeing. Graded authentic, but then grade the auto 10. And so that's another one. Again, this is, you know, when you're talking about cards like this, I mean, look at that card with the old Sonics, you know, uniform uh, when Durant first came in the NBA. You know, it is numbered to 10. On a card of this quality and this scarcity, you know, uh, again, you, you just kind of, you're buying the card, not the grade quite as much. Um, still going here. We're about third of the way through. You got a Kobe X Fractor from 03, a LeBron, you know, a Durant Optic Hollow autograph, uh, a fast break gold tray. This is interesting. You know, golds are on fire, but fast break golds and choice golds and gold shimmers, not quite as much. Um, there's something about the true golds, you know, the, the, the flat golds, so no fast break prism golds and no fast break optic golds, those are not going to hit the same numbers as your true golds. I can speak from experience because I've got some Anthony Simons that I've moved. They do not hit the same number as the flat golds. Uh, huge Jordan insert here. You know, this is a beautifully clean looking, doesn't look any yellow at all. That's really the biggest concern with this card. These cards actually great, fantastic. But for those of you who aren't familiar with this particular Jordan insert from 1998 Skybox EX Century, they tend to turn yellow. Uh, and the only really way to tell if it's yellow or clear in pictures is to put a sheet of white paper behind it. It's really hard to tell. Uh, some cards look perfectly clear, you know, in eBay pictures or, or auction pictures, and then you get them in hand and they're not. And then another concern with this particular card is it yellows even after it's in the slab, uh, which is, you know, really, really an issue. Um, so you got a LeBron 05 Chrome here. Girl, uh, that's a gold refractor, uh, PSA 9. I really think there's a move to be made on non-LeBron rookie refractors from Topps Chrome and then colors from early year prisms. I can't stress it enough. I've been looking to get into that. I, I have been getting into that pretty heavy. I'm tapped out now because these stupid red PMGs are causing me to go broke. But, um, you know, I really like the LeBron market as a buy right now. That's just me. I'm always a Jordan goat, LeBron next in line guy. So I'm not hyping or pumping LeBron, but I have a pretty fair share of money invested in LeBron because I think that this argument between old people like me and young people, LeBron versus Jordan is going to never end. It's only going to get more and more uh, contentious. Uh, and more and more prevalent, and I don't think it's going to go away. It's going to be just like the Bill Russell versus Wilt Chamberlain argument on steroids forever. Uh, I will be dead in my grave, uh, and people will still be arguing about this. So for that reason, I don't think LeBron or Jordan's names are going anywhere in the stream of consciousness for the basketball card collecting hobby. Here's a card that keeps popping up, and of course, I still need to get it. Again, this might be one that was resubmitted. For those of you who don't know, there was a glitch during weekly auction number six. Some of the cards were relisted in weekly auction number eight. Uh, I'm not sure if any of these are those relist cards, but uh, it's something to keep an eye on. Uh, so go back and check the serial number. I don't think it would change your analysis on whether or not to bid on the card or not. Um, but uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that the, the cards weren't paid for by the buyer. PWCC unilaterally took some cards out of weekly auction number six even after it closed because there was a glitch during extended bidding and people couldn't get their bids in and they said it was about 10 percent of the cards so some cards you may have seen in weekly auction number six are reappearing in weekly auction number eight same card same serial number it doesn't mean deadbeat buyer which is very rare with pwcc that's not what this means this means that maybe these were the cards where the glitch occurred and pwcc uh couldn't confirm that they yielded the correct final sales price because of errors in uh, extended bidding. In fact, I'm sure I'm looking at some of the exact same cards. Uh, here's another one. They can't even describe it because there's so many variations of contender, green shimmer, whatever. Check it out. Uh, a black LeBron rookie BGS 7.5. That grade will scare some people away. 
Uh, it is a hard card to grade. It is one of LeBron's rarer tops, uh, you know, tops rookie cards. This is numbered to 500. This is not the tops chrome. This is the tops paper. Uh, so even harder to grade than the Topps Chrome, significantly harder to grade than the Topps Chrome, uh, a, a LeBron Autograph Ultimate Collection. This Luca right here is pop one of four, uh, an often overlooked uh, one of Luca's uh, autograph rookie cards. That's actually an on-card auto. It's not a sticker. Uh, it's an on-card auto. It is numbered out of 199. His mom signed it right in the middle, perfect, just where uh, Luca told her to when he handed her 10,000 of his rookie cards. So you can't go wrong with this one. It is a 10-10. So instead of an authentic auto 10, somebody actually submitted this and it knocked it out of the park. That's going to be a humongous card. I'm sorry. That's going to go for a lot. Um, I look for this card to jump up a few rows when we look at our uh, Monday auction results. 03 Kobe Gold. Uh, here's a Le LeBron chalk toss. As I said, I own this card in a PSA 10 condition. I bought it from my good friend Kelvin Z out in California. He, as usual, molested me on price and he timed it perfectly. It seems that anytime either of us sells to the other, uh, the card ends up going down. So I'm not sure. We have we have some funny karma between us when we make deals, but one of the best in the hobby. He's Luka Doncic PC on uh, Instagram. Uh, Kobe uh, embossed refractor. This card is going to be numbered to uh, to 74. So really good looking card. It is die cut for those of you not familiar, and it's supposed to look sort of gold green like that. Um, but a big Kobe card right here. Um, not his rookie card. It's a second year card, but a really big Kobe card from a really important set finest, and that's the uh, gold embossed refractor. Uh, this card, I think. Um, is uh, sold in weekly auction number seven, if I recall, and there was actually a dip uh, compared to the last comp. So it'll be interesting to see if this if this card in PSA 10 condition can rally. This is the 98 Topps East West. If I clicked here, I could show you the back, and it is Kobe Bryant. So of all the East West refractors, which I think is an amazing set to collect, a local collector here, uh, Ryan Scott, is actually putting that set together, trying to get it in PSA 10. It is really a, a really cool time capsule snapshot of some of the hottest late 90s players east and west front and back both sides are refractors just a really cool insert set from uh from that 1998 tops uh brand uh a co you know here's a, a tim duncan essential credentials now which is numbered to 75 uh for those of you who aren't familiar with essential credentials now um i'm not going to get into how the serial numbers work but this is a huge card uh so i expect this card to go for a ton if you're uh one of the Four people in the world who actually collect Tim Duncan. I just offended like thousands of people. Uh, you're going to want to jump on this card. You don't see this every day. And it's got beautiful centering uh, and really good subgrades for an 8.5. Uh, again, big time Tim Duncan rookie card right there. Uh, you've got your uh, Luka Doncic, you know, your staple Luka Doncic flagship silver prism rookie card. Silver is the new base, I like to say. So pop a little over 2,000 if I recall. This one's got the NBA gold sticker. If we scroll down here, there's another one without the NBA gold sticker. This one's at 1375 This one's at 1500 Let's see how much that gold sticker is worth, right? We're going to look at those two once this auction closes, and we'll check it out and see who sold for what and what that gold sticker is worth. Uh, like I said, SGC is a company that I do trust, especially on Vintage really on anything pre ultra modern um, you know I don't mind seeing SGC slabs I personally don't put SGC slabs in my collection so I wouldn't even look at this card but that's not because SGC is not a reputable grading company especially on vintage it's just because I'm so OCD I'm only putting PSA and BGS in my collection period end of story uh, for the same reason I don't I don't collect any BGS cards without subs uh, for the same reason I don't collect any PSA cards with qualifiers. I just don't do it. I don't own any uh, because I just can't stand that because I'm just too OCD and I need perfect organization and symmetry. It's just the way I am. It's bad enough that I've got PSA and BGS. That already drives me crazy, but it is what it is. Here's a Jordan Caesars card. I don't know anything about it. Stanley probably knows about this card. If you've not followed Stanley, go find him on Instagram. He owns like every Jordan card that has ever emanated from another country or from a, you know, weird you know cigarette pack or you know special employee discount you know distribution he knows everything about every jordan in the world so he's your encyclopedia britannica if you know what that means then you're dated and old like me 
Uh, here's a Jordan Ultimate Buyback. This is a one of one. It is a buyback, okay, but it is a one of one masterpiece. There's his autograph in blue ink on the face of the card. Uh, the Jordan Warp Speed, one of my favorite, and it looks like there's a little bit of a crack up here on the slab. Maybe it's a scratch. Maybe it's a crack. I'm not sure. That's a question you probably need to email. Um, you know, PWCC and ask them about. Again, I think PSA re-slabs them for a very small fee, but uh, that may result in this card going for a little bit of a discount. I'll be quite honest with you. You know, if I was bidding, I'd probably try to pick this card up at a, you know, at a pretty health, healthy discount because of that crack and then just resubmit it, pay the fee, and now you've got a great bargain buy. But that is an awesome Jordan insert if you've never held one in hand. It checks so many boxes. Uh, just an absolutely gorgeous card with Jordan wearing the Concord 11s, the tongue out. Just everything about that just screams iconic. Uh, I think it's a really underrated insert, especially in PSA 10 condition. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. An 81 time. A lot of people out there are trying to collect this set. Good luck collecting this set in PSA 10. Super condition sensitive. Pop two uh, for a car that wasn't that scarce. Uh, a Jordan 4 that looks really good for a 4. I know, you know, it's got furry white corners and snow, but like centering wise, you know, most 4s, the centering is horrific. This is a 4 with great centering, just bad looking corners and edges. Uh, scoring Magnets 10, another what I feel is undervalued, underrated. <laughs> I know people hate to use the word undervalued when you're talking about cards that are worth thousands of dollars, but uh, this is not an easy pull, and it's certainly not easy in a PSA 10 condition. We'll talk about stuff like Pop and how rare it is and you know what the history of the uh, of the prices have done in, in each of these cards on Monday right this not not the purpose of this video this is just for me to get this out there and let you guys know what's coming up and what's closing on Sunday so you can get in the mix here and mix it up and try to throw some bids in uh, Kobe there's the same one Kobe refractor PSA 9 we're gonna go a little bit quicker Jordan autograph SPX authentic here's a big time uh, star power supreme for those of you who don't know super rare card not numeric uh, not serial numbered but really big time card here it is die cut up here in the top left and this is the kobe bryant bgs 9.5 second year i gotta scroll quicker autograph trey gold here's a uh, you know your typical uh this is actually a really good looking uh bird magic psa 8 it's a little diamond cut at the top the centering looks good it's diamond cut at the top it does not have your little horizontal black line defect in the bottom right Another autograph, LeBron. A DeMar DeRozan, really cool patch rookie auto from uh, National Treasures, numbered to 99, true RPA. This is a huge card if you're a DeMar, or if you're looking to get into the DeMar, uh, the DeMar PC. Uh, this is a really, really big card for him. You know, it sounds like people have finally stopped beating the drum for DeMar for MVP, which was preposterous to begin with. There is something between being an MVP candidate and, uh, and DeMar DeRozan. Uh, he's had an amazing year, a career year. Uh, he's changed the outlook of the Bulls. You know, he's flipped the script on, uh, you know, the trajectory of his career. That doesn't mean he's a freaking MVP. Just because somebody's, you know, maybe most improved player, whatever. But, I mean, let's not get ahead of ourselves. He was never a legitimate MVP candidate. Uh, probably, possibly not even the best player on his team. Uh, and again, here I am pissing off thousands of people worldwide. Um, or hundreds, because not very many people watch my videos. Uh, Kobe Kaboom. Pretty cool looking Kaboom if you're into cartoons. Uh, Kobe Bryant, uh, 96 Fleer Metal PSA 10 Fresh Foundations insert. Oh, this is a big one. Uh, Kobe Rose Zero Showcase, number to 250, BGS 10. Damn, that is a big time grade on a flare, on a, on a flare showcase. Uh, LeBron Tops Chrome, we look every week to make sure it's still going down. Uh, it seems to still be going down. Uh, Luka Doncic Pink Pulsar, 10. Uh, super rare card. People don't seem to love these, even though it's a super low serial number. Uh, I'm sure this card's going to fetch a number. It's going to jump a few rows uh, in this weekly auction number 8. Uh, for some reason, Doncic is not super beloved right now, despite the fact that he is literally carrying his team and an organization on his back. Uh, here's a really good looking centering on a Wilt PSA 2. If you don't have a Wilt and you were looking to get one, go get a card like this. If, you're, if you don't have 10 grand or 12 grand to spend, Go get you a PSA 2 that's perfectly centered. Cards from this era, it's okay that there's wrinkles. It's okay that there's like print dots. It's okay that the that it's a little bit rounded on the corners, a lot rounded on the corners in this case. This is a beautiful centered card. It's got great eye appeal. Honestly, for a 2, I'm surprised PSA, PWCC didn't slap a 5% sticker on it. For a 2, this card looks really good to me from a centering standpoint. And centering is probably the biggest issue from the 61 Fleer set. Kobe Redemption 10. Uh, here's that Jordan. This this kind of reminds me of Kaboom before Kaboom. 
Some people swear by this card. They think it's the greatest thing in the world. It actually predates his 86 Fleer rookie card. This is the Prism Jewel sticker. It is a very rare card. Uh, this card was doing great until somebody graded the surface a four. Uh, if not for that, it would have been a monster card. Uh, but nevertheless, you got it in a BGS5 condition if you want to check it out. That's a facsimile autograph. It's not a real autograph for those of you who aren't familiar with the card. Um, we see this seem seemingly every single week in the PWCC. These two, well, actually these three cards, more Kobe's. Uh, we got another Durant 10. Not familiar with that one. That's a Bowman Sterling Black Refractor. I'm not familiar with the Bowman Sterling product. It's numbered to 199, BGS 10, Pop 3. Uh, here's a Kaboom Gold Devin Booker. Really cool cards. 2018. That's going to be a low pop. Pop 6. The Star Date Kobe. We look at this every time. It's always in the PWCC Weekly Auction. We're normally looking at the PSA 10 and the crazy wild ride that that card has gone on. Uh, so let's see what the BGS 9.5 minimum gem can do. Uh, a Kobe Rubies here. Uh, PSA a nine, a Kobe, a LeBron, uh, a LeBron flawless with some kind of you know championship wrestling belt on it with three different diamonds. I don't know what's going on here. There's a lot going on right here, uh, but it's a USA gold medals PSA ten. That's a pop one of one for those of you who are interested. And then clearly the best card, uh, without question, the best card in the entire PWCC weekly auction coming in at card number ninety five. Uh, this uh, two color beautiful patch one of one. 2018 impeccable Anthony Simons platinum one of one masterpiece the only copy ever made what kind of idiot would sell this card with Anthony Simons right on the cusp of greatness proving to the world that he's the next great shooting guard in the Western Conference uh, and will be doing battle with John Morant for decades to come yes decades uh, yes in case you haven't guessed that's my card it is for sale it was listed in the PWCC weekly auction number six, and it was part of the glitch, right? And so it got pushed back into weekly auction number eight. So if you're watching my video and you love me and you want me to get rich, go bid way too much on this card. I don't have any idea what the card's going to go for. Uh, I've sold a couple of Simon's cards, you know, in the high thousands, maybe 1,800, you know, 1,500, 1,800, some big cards, the black gold, BGS9. Uh, I expect this one to probably sell for more than any other Simon card I've sold. Uh, I, it was tough for me to part with this. I had seven uh, Simons, one of ones. I think I've sold two or three so far. This one will go as well. Uh, I would encourage you to go search Anthony Simons if you like the player and you're looking to invest. I have seven other Anthony Simons in addition to this one. All big cards. Uh, well worth your time and attention. Uh, go check it out. If I can't use my channel to hype my own cards, what can I use it for? Uh, and here's the one ultra modern insert that I probably like the most that I think will endure even beyond kabooms and downtowns and on the horizons and all all those ugly ones. Uh, this color blast, uh, really like it. It's 2020. It's from Spectra, uh, PSA 10, and it's of uh, my best uh, favorite player in the NBA and two-time MVP and Defensive Player of the Year and NBA champion. So that does it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, keep collecting. Stay positive in the hobby and peace.